Okay, so get that we're diving into some uh, serious drama. Yeah. Today. Oh yeah. Like legal drama. Uh, uh, we're talking about Drake and Kendrick Lamar. Right. Now, obviously, everybody knows these two. Big names. Huge, huge in the hip hop world, right? But <laughs> their feud. Uh, it's been going on for years. Yeah. It's always been there kind of simmering, you know, diss tracks here and there. All right. But but now... Now it's getting serious. Drake's taking it to court. Whoa. And here's the thing. He's not suing Kendrick directly. Really? No, he's going after Universal Music Group, Kendrick's label, and maybe even Spotify. What? Yeah, he's saying they basically, like, rigged the game wow. to make Kendrick look bigger than he is. Yeah. Maybe even, like, sabotage Drake a little, you know? <laughs> big accusation huge accusations and we've got like the actual legal documents right here let's see it we're going deep into this stuff like really deep i'm ready all right so to understand this whole thing we've kind of got to rewind a bit okay like drake and kendrick their beef it goes way back yeah you know there was this one track uh family matters oh yeah where kendrick basically called drake out for using a ghostwriter Ouch. Yeah, that was like a huge diss in the hip hop world. For sure, ghostwriting's like a big no no. Totally. And then Drake fired back with Meet the Grams. Oh, I remember that one. Yeah, he implied Kendrick's girl was cheating on him. Savage. Totally. And then things escalated even further with Not Like Us. Ooh, that one was brutal. That was the nuclear bomb of diss tracks. Yeah. Kendrick went all out accusing Drake of all sorts of shady stuff. Wow, so this is like classic hip hop beef, right? Totally. Yeah. But the thing is, it usually stops there, you know, at the music. Yeah, you diss each other on a track, you get some headlines. Exactly, but taking it to court, this is unheard of. Yeah, this could change the whole game, like how these feuds play out. And the implications for the artists and the industry, huge. Huge. All right, so let's dig into the specifics of Drake's lawsuit. Okay. He's basically accusing UMG of this elaborate pay-to-play scheme. pay to Yeah, basically saying they manipulated the system to boost Kendrick's numbers. Interesting. Like one of the things they point to is payments to iHeartRadio. Oh, wow. Allegedly, they paid them to play Kendrick's songs, like nonstop. So basically guaranteeing him airtime. Exactly. And that's just one example. They're also talking about bots on Spotify. Bots. Yeah, like fake accounts streaming his music 24-7 to inflate his numbers. Mm. Wow. So it all comes down to this question, right? Right. Do streaming numbers and radio plays really reflect an artist's popularity? That's the million dollar question. It's been a debate in the industry for years, you know? Like Good. with the rise of streaming and all these digital platforms, it's gotten so much harder to tell what's genuine and what's manufactured. Right. And if Drake's right, this could expose a whole lot of shady stuff. Like a whole underbelly of the industry. Exactly, and it gets even crazier. What do you mean? Drake's not just complaining about the numbers. He's saying UMG intentionally released a song knowing it contained false accusations against him. Oh, really? Yeah, the song's called Not Like Us. That's the one with all the crazy disses. Exactly. And it even got nominated for a Grammy. No way. Yeah, so Drake's team is saying UMG knew these lyrics were potentially damaging, but they released it anyway. Yeah, so what are they hoping to get out of this legally? Well, they could be going for defamation. Defamation? Yeah, which is basically damaging someone's reputation by spreading lies. Right. And potentially even fraud. Fraud? How? Well, if they can prove that UMG intentionally misled the public for financial gain. Like by pushing Kendrick, even though they knew the accusations were false. Exactly. That could be considered fraud. So what does UMG have to say about all this? Well, as you can imagine, they're denying everything. Yeah. <laughs> they're saying Drake's accusations are baseless and that Kendrick's success is all down to his fans. Right. Genuine fan. Exactly. But here's the interesting thing. Spotify's been totally silent. Oh, that's shady. Yeah, it makes you wonder what they're thinking. They're sure. But here's what I find really fascinating about this whole case. It could set a major precedent. Like how? Well, if Drake wins, it could empower other artists to challenge the power dynamics in the music industry. Yeah, artists have been complaining about unfair contracts and shady practices for years. Exactly. And this case could give them the leverage to demand more transparency and control. So it's bigger than just Drake and Kendrick. Way bigger. It's about the whole system. And it makes you wonder what Drake's ultimate goal is here. Right. Like, is this really about getting justice for himself? Or is he trying to expose the whole industry? Maybe he wants to change the game for everyone. And here's the question I keep coming back to. What's that? Will all this legal drama overshadow the music itself? You know, will people even be able to listen to these songs without thinking about the lawsuit? Or maybe it'll force us to confront the reality of the music business. Yeah. 
the good, the bad, and the ugly. Exactly. That's definitely something to think about. For sure. All right, well, that's our deep dive for today. Wow, that was intense. Intense is right. Makes you think. Definitely all right. Until next time. See ya. Bye. Bye.